we have received comment after comment from educators who feel as though they're not getting a decision in the decision to reopen. One here in Salt Lake County even thinks it could lead to a strike. Now, over fear of losing her job, she has asked us to conceal her identity. So for the sake of this story, we're going to call her Tracy. For Tracy, it is my life's passion. The classroom is more than a career. It is everything. She's been a high school teacher here in Salt Lake for five years. To watch them walk across the stage at graduation, I don't even have words to describe it. When the pandemic hit, she knew there'd be changes. I really fully realized it's not safe. After months of closures, she's seeing just what that means as school districts have started to release plans to reopen. Itemized lists full of masks, social distancing, sanitation, and smaller classroom sizes. She says it's a nice thought. It's completely impossible. But educators aren't being heard. We're asking teachers to do twice the amount of work and to put their lives on the line every single day without additional health benefits and without hazard pay. Part of her concerns stemming from Monday's Salt Lake School District board meeting. If you don't want to teach these kids, even if we're in green, then don't come to work. Quit, go find you another job. It was extremely disheartening to hear somebody who's supposed to be in support of children and education that he doesn't care if we die or not. The district says it's not the case. Our school board and our district leadership, our interim superintendent, are 100% supportive of our teachers. And the thoughts of one board member don't speak for the rest. Would they ever be given the ultimatum where it was show up when you feel unsafe or lose your job? That's not something that we would say. Still, the Utah Education Association says Tracy isn't alone in her concerns. We need that, that to know that the resources are going to be there to assure that safety of our kids and the adults in the classroom. If you ask the union, bottom line, more needs to be done. Well, before members go to extremes. When our students' lives are at stake, when our lives are at stake, I think it might be best for us to strike. The school district did conduct a teacher survey back in May to see how they were feeling about everything so they'd have a voice. Still, nothing set in stone, and they say they are still looking for suggestions. Live in Salt Lake City, Al Thomas, Fox 13 News, Utah.